colleagues in Congress remembering his great achievements. ABC's Rachel Scott is in Washington with more on that story. Good morning, Rachel. Eva, good morning. Congressman John Lewis believed it was his moral obligation to stand up and fight. And that fight for racial justice started in the South, but ended right here on Capitol Hill. This morning, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say the civil rights movement has lost a legend and Congress has lost a fearless leader. From the freedom rides in the Jim Crow South to sit-ins on Capitol Hill. And his final public appearance last month, fittingly at Black Lives Matter Plaza. Here in Washington, Congressman John Lewis was known as the conscience of Congress, a democratic force. Where is the heart of this body? Where is our soul? Where is our moral leadership? Where is our courage? This morning, Lewis remembered as one of the greatest heroes in American history, from his colleagues on both sides of the aisle. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi calling Lewis a titan of the civil rights movement whose bravery transformed our nation. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell writing, you did not need to agree with John on many policy details to be awed by his life, admire his dedication to his neighbors in Georgia's 5th District, or appreciate his generous, respectful, and friendly bearing. Lewis would lead bipartisan delegations to Selma, Democrats and Republicans standing shoulder to shoulder, marching across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. The civil rights icon was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the country's highest civilian honor in February 2011. And generations from now, when parents teach their children what is meant by courage, the story of John Lewis will come to mind. An American who knew that change could not wait for some other person or some other time, whose life is a lesson in the fierce urgency of now. In March, members of Congress threw Lewis a surprise birthday party. He turned 80 years old. Congresswoman Catherine Clark writing, the pride of our lives is calling you a friend. And it was right here in the nation's capital almost 60 years ago that Congressman Lewis marched on Washington, declaring America cannot rest until everyone is treated equally. President Obama saying he loved his country so much that he risked his own life and blood so that it might live up to its promise. Eva. Rachel, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.